Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Ready Waves by Todd If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you miss any of my future videos. In front of us we have the Radio Shack DX390. It will perform a daytime medium wave band scan. Current time is 2.19 p.m. Central Daylight Savings Time near Chicago, Illinois. This radio was modded. Uh, it's a very simple mod. You open up the radio and remove a green wire from a connector and it lets you have no uh, mute on tuning and no soft mute. So it's a pretty neat setup. And I'll show you that as I tune. Also, I disabled the buzzer. There's no way to turn it off on the radio. So I took the wire off inside the radio when I had it open. Uh, like I said, I'll link below those uh, pictures and how to do that. Okay, let's go turn it on. Let's start at the bottom of the band. You can do 10 kilohertz stepping here. And I can do my fine tuning on the knob here. You can hear that. It was still a gamble that paid off. And you're going to see what the here and the three engines that we believe. 540 here's WAUK, Jackson, Wisconsin. I've had insomnia for many, many years, and I gotta tell you, the one relief I have gotten is my pillow. I fall asleep faster, I stay asleep longer, and you can So we have an RF game. I met Mike Lindell, he's the inventor of my pillow. I believe it's for shortwave. We have our tone. My life in so many low. Ways for the better. And right now, Mike is offering his lowest and price high. ever on radio or TV. You get a two pack of my pillows, premium pillow, sixty nine ninety eight. That's only thirty four ninety nine per pillow. Now this all. So this is a uh, five eighty. This is W I L L Urbana, Illinois. It's an NPR station. I found that this radio does very well with a passive loop with the uh, loop placed uh, this way here. I believe it's edge on uh, versus adjacent. And I'll show you that to you right now. I'm gonna grab my Texan AN200 off the shelf. This is what I'm gonna use here, passive loop. Dusty here, but I'll go ahead and do it. So I'm gonna put it in right next to me where the antenna is. I believe it's over here by the speaker. Maybe I'll that signal strength indicator. And we'll go adjacent. On the right side, a little bit of gain. On the left side, a little bit of gain. But like I said, when I put it right, where I believe the ferret is, I get the most gain with the loop. Pretty cool. So a great setup. This I've noticed that this radio, in the evening and daytime, a medium wave does very well with a passive loop. It just uh, wakes it up and makes it a really good DX machine. You can really get those faint signals out. And you can position the loop a certain way and you can do a, a active nulling with it. You can actually null a station out to hear something uh, underneath some of the uh, overloading stations. Okay, let's keep rolling. This is WKZO, Kalamazoo, Michigan. So I'm just going to bring that loop in from the top again. So what I was doing is I was bringing this loop in on an angle and slowly adding gain from going from a, a nulled position into an active position. So it gives you an idea. Cool. That's 137 miles away. Here's another far station. This is uh, Cedar Rapids, WMT. This one's 175 miles away. Bring the loop in again. Thank you. 
people when I did this, people thought I was crazy. There are really no other rules aside from, you know, no full frontal nudity. Go out there and do it. As you can see, that works out really nice. I'm really happy to show that. Just makes this radio a monster. I wonder for all the employers that make that decision to say, well, you know, we don't want to bring somebody in at the age of 55. 620 is WTMJ, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Instead, they opt to bring somebody in at the age of 35 or 30 or whatever, and that person just doesn't end up working out. You, you wonder how often people end up their wheels on things I like remember, this. I think this radio runs on 4D batteries and I think it runs on two or three double A's. So it has a few batteries in it. resenting people who decide they want to stay in their job. Why? I, I just think that's not the way to look Active at it. clock, which can be switched to dual time. It doesn't matter to me what the age of the employee is. You can tap it to see uh, what the UTC is. And they want to be there and Pretty you nice. want to be them to be there. The fact that somebody 20 years younger might resent them having that job. This is WMFN, Pito, in Illinois. Late to your agreement required. Equipment taxes, fees, extra subject to change back up limited to eight hours. Repair, remodel, renovate. With Mega Pros, any questions on your home repair or improvement needs answered fast by a pro. Call 847 658 This is a strong station, WSCR, the score. You can actually see the uh, signal strength indicator is very uh, sensitive. Even on a strong station. Townstone for your home purchase, refinance, or reverse mortgage. Guaranteed great rates and low closing costs. Townstone.com. Hi, I'm Jay Farner, CEO of Quicken Loans. 30% of Americans who are planning home improvements of $5,000 so home of the Cubs. pay for those renovations with a high interest credit card. That uh, they can go on. Now, this radio does a little chirping or a little, uh, little artifacts of noise when you're tuning. Uh, it's with uh, one kilohertz stepping or with 10 kilohertz stepping after doing that mod, the no mute on tuning, uh, it kind of comes in a little quicker. The AGC is like fast acting, so you get these little pops once in a while. It's definitely because of the mod. June 22nd, hometown voices is but I don't mind it. WGN Chicago, 720. Days in Geneva. It's a Geneva tradition for 70 years. Live music, carnival rides. Visit the events page at WGNRadio.com for details. WGN Radio's Hometown Voices is back with John Lennon. 750 WNDZ, Portage, Indiana. Los seminarios grandes, A little rust on the speaker here. I could sand this off and repaint this. I was thinking about it, but... This thing, it kind of adds character to it. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah, I like that one color tuning. It's pretty quick. It's no mute. You could have used those 15 clickbait minutes to switch your WBBM, Chicago only. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on motorcycle insurance. And indeed, we believe a resume is a great way to see an overview of a candidate, but you're not hiring. Here's the latest Chicago traffic update. Accidents in Darien, Lamont Road, and Cheese Road, and Lyle Ogden, east of Fender. Eden, Stopago inbound, Will Road. Uh, the A20's WCPT, Will Springs, Illinois, about 40 miles away. About Kennedy Slow, Nagel to Montrose. So, Sana a un hermano en Cristo. Y le Crystal Lake, Illinois. Okay, okay this here is we're not hearing anything, and this is um. WKAR East Lansing, Michigan. Oh, I could just make out something. So we're going to bring in the passive loop right where I think the antenna is again. I'm going to kind of position this and see if I can't tune this.
Okay, about the best gain is right where the clock is. Okay, good. So I have an idea now. This is uh, 870. Okay, pull that away. Let's keep going. This is 890 WLS Chicago, Illinois. The building was evacuated. Governor Cuomo on scene very quickly, which is still active, and said any time an event like this happens, it reminds one of 9-11. If you're a, a New York... This is 920 WOKY, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the Big Badger. Them to be the warriors like maybe i have maybe i'm too positive with it but i understand all the ramifications of when you get durant out there how much it changes the entire dynamics of the series it changes everything it changes everything for Seth. like he can punish if they're going to play this defense on Seth. you can see how much gain this loop is adding it's amazing like kevin durant can punish you it's been Alfonso McKinney and Quinn Cook and Jonas Norepko and Andre Iguodala and Draymond Green. And those guys can't punch them. But at the same time, can you really about to play 35 minutes? Of responsibility. And honestly, it's more than I can handle. That's why all priests depend on your 930 WBKM, Sandwich, Illinois. The priest isn't holy. It's the fault of the lady because they didn't pray enough for him and they didn't correct him. The station here is WFAW for Atkinson, Wisconsin. Daily family prayers. This is Father Rocky. I am a priest, and I approve of this message. <laughs> okay, that's a first for me to hear. <laughs> I'm a priest. I approve this message. That is very interesting. Okay, 950 WNTA, Chicago, Illinois. Well, what David is saying uh, strikes such a chord with me because um, sometimes what you need help with is identifying what's already happening within you. Um, I struggled so much with anger. Um, I was somebody who did not be comfortable being angry before Greta died and after she died, especially in circumstances. I had so much anger, and it was actually David who um, identified that uh, in that weekend workshop. He saw that I was struggling with anger. Okay, let's move on up here. And we were walking down Yawkey Way. Yeah. Meller and I were counting all the different advertisements. 1,000 to be MVP, Chicago Illinois. Different ads. And it didn't feel like it was detracting from your experience. And it was Fenway. And we're like, this is awesome. And, 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 yeah. and the Cubs should be able to do this. And that's, and look, they, every year they, I don't know what's going to happen this year, but they just added Kimbrell and, and I know there are some people who are belly aching about some stuff, but of course, I, I mean, look, I, there are going to be some people that don't feel great about the Ricketts family and some of the things they've done, both baseball related. And oh yeah, I forgot we have a wide in there. But from a pure baseball perspective, what they have done on the north side with the team, most importantly, forgot to see the entire area, area that switch there. <laughs> it's very impressive. Just put it that way. We were at the McDonald's there on Friday. Friday. I'm not sure if I did the call letters for 1000. I think I did. WMVP Chicago ESPN is on 1000. This here is a, a foreign station on 1030, which is WNVR Vernon Hills, Illinois. Okay, this station is uh, usually kind of faint. This is WLIP Kenosha. If you're looking to figure out how we do it, Wisconsin. Just go to door number one there you three. Go. You can study thousands of hours of material on how to grow your business. If you have money but no time, go to door number two. It's a bit pricey, but our managed services are absolutely incredible. Okay, 1060 here is going to be a, oh, let's see, this is a Michigan station. 
can just make it out. I notice when I'm adding gain to a station and I pull it away, it has kind of like a interfering sound that builds up. So I don't know if the loop generates a little bit of noise. Um, when it was charging up the ferrite antenna inside and I pulled away and there's uh, artifacts left over. But I did notice that a few times here. Maybe you did too. But this is 1060. Let's see if we can tune this in. This is uh, 95 miles away. WHFB. Bring it in here. Get signal bouncing there. Uh, so there we go. Let's pull up some and see what it sounds like. <laughs> yeah, it's got kind of that static sound. I think if you just... Okay, it seems to stay. Okay. Probably for a little bit and then it'll probably uh, go away. But I'll actually test that out. This is WTSO Madison, Wisconsin. This is actually a station I like to listen to. I think I'm going to bring the loop in. Might open a car door directly into the bike's path, causing severe... Got one of Jason here. Our experienced attorneys know firsthand the risks you face when you take your bicycle out on the road. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of cool NASCAR races on the weekend. Okay, it's sensitive. Yeah, so what that noise is, it's picking up the loop um, at a distance. Uh, so that's what that is. It's like tuned to that loop. Nice. Now we know why that noise was happening. Okay. Field attorney fighting for you. This is WNWI, Oklahoma, Illinois. Get this uh, loop off the table. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's the WNBI, Chicago, Illinois. It's a household name you can trust when you have a clog drain. Scheduling is quick and easy. Call the original. 1130s, WISM, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The <laughs> Jewish woman. He went out and married a worshiper of Baal. W-Y-L-L, Chicago, Illinois. Christian station, as you can tell. And how Ahab rationalized this. And probably while he was dating Jezebel, he would say, boy, Big just radio. wait until I marry her. Israel is going to gain a new convert. See if I can hear the squirrel. Wait until I marry her. So think about this. Think about all those that we ran through. Bruce Rauner had been... 1180s WSQR, Sycamore, Illinois. A squirrel. Usually there's music playing, but they do do a lot of news. Skilled negotiating. Well, the gas tax is going up. Kiker notes proposed taxes on streaming media, plastic bags, and ride sharing. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, going this way. Ya que son muy altos. Vamos a ver si España tiene gente interesante en la banca que un ratito más nuestro compañero Wood. 100 WRTO, Chicago, Illinois. Pues me gusta nada. Exciting. I <laughs> love it. This is this is funny. Okay, WKRS, Waukegan, Illinois. ESPN, Espanol, if you couldn't guess. Here's old, and we have Myla, who just turned three on Friday. All right, there we go. 1230, here's WCLO, Janesville, Wisconsin. Very, very well done. I love it, beautiful. 1240s, WSBC, Chicago, Illinois. It sounds like two stations here. 
At first, I thought it might have been 12.30 underneath, but I don't think so. Oh, something else. Interesting. First time I think I heard that. Okay, let's go to 60. This is WEKZ, Merle, Wisconsin, 60 miles away. Let's bring that loop back up. Keeping it off the table. Wow, I never had that problem. The thing is really sensitive when this loop is like, you know, two feet away on the table, and it's definitely in a perpendicular position so it wouldn't affect the radio. It still did. So right now I'm just doing for minimal gain, um, coming in from the side, adjacent. Uh, 1260 here, you can hear it's country music, uh, WEKZ. There you go, get an idea of this off the table. Okay, let's tune this up quickly. WBIG, Aurora, Illinois. 1290, I don't think I'm going to try chasing that down. I mean, it's this way. On my end, I can hear just a little hint of music. Thirteen hundred WRDZ Lagrange, Illinois. We're paying a much higher percentage of the bill. WIBA Madison, Wisconsin. To protect Europe, while Angela pulling her weight, and Germany's not pulling their weight. A little bit of tone there. I'm not sure what that's coming from. I don't have anything on here in the house I'm causing that, but um, yeah, it might be internal. It's ridiculous, and the president goes and says, "No, you got." Thirteen thirty is uh, WNTA Rockford barely making that out. Another station overloading. I don't think the loop's gonna help here, but we can try. So what I'm doing is I'm angling the passive loop in, trying to null out the station that's right on there. Seems to be helping a little bit. We're gonna fly through these pretty quick now. Family without the same issues. 1360 WLBK, DeKalb, Illinois. WBEL, South Beloit, Illinois. 1390 WGRB, Chicago. There you go, get the call letters, WRGN, for C, Wisconsin. All these meatballs, four premium chicken breasts, four caramel apple tartlets, four desserts. WRMN, all genome. And you'll get four extra Omaha steak burgers for free. Order now and you'll get this exclusive Omaha steak Father's Day steak fix package valued at $235 for just 15 I think this is a dude selling stuff on the radio. WEF, Deerfield, Illinois. Of course, it'll come in a little clearer if I move the radio, but I'm going for speed. He's going the distance. He's going for speed. <laughs> um, WROK, Rockford, Illinois. WCEV, Cicero. Nice to hear. Let's see here. We got uh, WJTI, West Ellis, Wisconsin. Not going to get that in. WGEZ, Beloit, Wisconsin, Iron Country. At 
Coming up, interview with Jeff Rudy, the uh, guy, the CEO. WPJX, Diane Illinois. Company matches deal, this other one too. Now we got a. It helps in the narrow with the stations during the day. Okay, nothing. Let's keep going. This is WCKG. Uh, this is Elmer still now. Yeah, broad loop in it definitely clear this up. This is WTTN Watertown, Wisconsin. WCGO, Evanston, Illinois. Get 1620 here. Look at Hazardous Road. Just picking up the WSJP, Sussex, Wisconsin. Again, a good candidate for a loop. Take this up to 1670 here. Okay, that's me touching the antenna. Watch it. <laughs> WOZN Madison, Wisconsin, and I will bring a loop in for this one. I can just bring it in adjacent on the end. And I have a loop on this. This is 1690 WBON, Chicago, Illinois. I think I said the last station, 1670, was WOZN, Madison, Wisconsin, zone. Take the loop away. Okay, let's go ahead. I think that's it. 1700, 1710, it goes right back to... It does a little pop when it goes back to the bottom of the band. And you can see soft muting is a great thing. <laughs> Really nice at night. DVD, because I'm a, you know, I'm a, I'm a huge movie fan, and so over the. Years, and of course, you have your direct entry keypad, which is nice. I mean, this radio I picked up for like I think 38 bucks, right around there, and uh, you know, I had a little rust on it, but this thing rocks, and I had no problem. I had fun taking it apart and working on it. So let's go ahead, do final thoughts, talk a little bit about this, and then we'll close it up here. Turn that off there. Of course, it shows a battery level indicator when you turn the radio off. That is nice, nice feature. I do like that. So the DX390 during the day on medium wave, it's not spectacular. Uh, like my Eaton satellite over here, this guy uh, definitely outperforms it on the AM band. Uh, but when you bring in that passive loop, this thing really shines. Uh, it actually gets more gain than the satellite does with the loop. Uh, pretty impressed. Now I haven't tried my twin coil yet. I might try the C-Crane twin coil setup just to see what it can do. If it's too much or, I mean, because uh, the loop really makes this thing amplify. So, um, so yeah, the, wonderful on the medium wave with assistance. It's a really cool radio. New, no mute on tuning mod is a really cool thing to do if you own this radio. Very simple. Again, check out the links below. Um, support if you want to buy the radio too. I'll have links for the, that too. If you're going to eBay to check it out um, and you wanted one of these again, because it's a fun radio to, to play around with and experiment and have fun with. Um, so definitely check out the links. You know, if you want to support the channel, definitely click them. And of course, uh, yeah, the mod I'm thinking about doing uh, future, you can hear that static noise. Um, this radio is real susceptible to static discharge on the antenna whip, and it can actually uh, blow up a, I believe there's some diode or something in there that can uh, help uh, against static discharge into the radio that could cause a problem. Um, I'm going to actually wire that up. I believe it's just a, a diode in one direction going to the negative terminal on the battery and a diode going this way. Um, so you have direction of current from the antenna going to the battery this way, and then you have a diode this way where the current's going from the battery negative to the antenna whip. So they, they, it's like almost like a circle. Uh, I saw the diagram for it, so opposing diode connections. 
So it seems like a pretty simple thing to do, and I'm thinking about doing that. All right, guys, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. You guys are awesome. Two of you like Radio Shack products, like the DX line, subscribe at the bell icon. Got a lot of videos. I'm always looking for more radios. I love this line. It's a great thing to collect. Uh, very inexpensive right now, so it's definitely worth putting into your uh, collection if you're looking into these radios. And, of course, three, comment below what you think about the Radio Shack DX390. This thing's a little tank, but, boy, is it, it's good. It's still working great. All right, guys, take care. We'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.